Friday, day 66, 12.28 p.m. Halfway housemates David and Carl Louise are in the dormitory. Halfway housemates Tracy and Shanessa are in the yard. Oh my God, do you know what this is? Ziggy's deodorant. <laughs> Help! Carol, Carol went and got it for me. Oh she There's none in it? No, and it was empty, but you can still smell it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really, help. 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 <sighs> John E, Amanda and Carol are in the living area completing this week's shopping list. Where's eggs? Value eggs. Where's the, um, oh, free range. Yeah, free range. Can we have a dozen? 273. 273. Two boxes. That's 198. What is it called? Free range eggs. Okay. Amy's in the bathroom. Most of the other housemates are in the garden. Ziggy? Yeah. Can you talk about David Fancy Janelle and told you? What? David Fancy Janelle? Yeah, I know, yeah. He said to me, I, he said to me, I, I didn't like you. And I said, why? And he goes, because, uh, because I was jealous. And I was like, why are you jealous? And he goes, because I fancy Chanel. Yeah. So, yeah, I told you that first night. What kind of flippin' slimy cracks all this telling somebody you fancied the bird anyway? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm not into any of that, well, really. wrong, man. You know what that is? In my eyes, that's like that song saying, yeah, I've just come in here and I can do whatever I like. And it's just basically saying to you, what, what, there's nothing you can do about it, basically. What can you do, then? You know, I don't have a lot of time to spend with him, but there's something not fully right there. Mm. Really? Yeah, I don't think there is. I don't oh. think there is. Did anybody, just while we're on, um, just while we're on, did anybody see Flippin that oh, well, well. Shanessa didn't really, wasn't really interested in me at all and kind of avoided conversation and walked off a lot? I didn't actually see that. I think you might be paranoid. I think you've got the whole Amy thing there, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah, because yeah, she I doesn't think... get on with Amy and you're with Amy. I'm yeah. not with him! God damn it, woman! <laughs> This is the big thing, isn't it? Oh, no! You sort of are. No, I'm not, though. You sort of are, though. I'm literally not. Oh, I'm not bit. having this for a minute, like. <laughs> <laughs> What's so bad being in a relationship with a big brother ass? Ah! With a glamour model, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sam, you know it's not true, don't you? None of this is happening. These are just <laughs> being big shots. Sam man have even told me. <laughs> I'm going to call a stinking meeting mind in this house. <laughs> what, a, a meeting? I'm not going to have any meeting. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, we don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> 4.48pm. The halfway housemates have come over to the main Big Brother house. I'd been asleep high yeah, half. I mean, just like woke up like five minutes. I'm like, ah. Did you just get your suitcase? Is it? Oh, you bumped your leg here. I did it on a pole in work the other day. Hi. Johnny and Jerry are in the garden. <laughs> what, do, what have they done to you? Oh, it's mostly companies. I mean, they, they, they really messed me around and that kind of thing. Like, like, there's one of them. And this is going back to the early 1990s, so it's a lot of money. You had to pay £18.95 to guarantee that something got delivered the next day. So mm -hmm. instead of using courier post office, office. Yeah, yeah, courier it's, 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 it's yeah. special, exactly. Yeah. That's a lot of money. And, and I paid it because I was desperate for this letter to be... It was for a Doctor Who competition. I really wanted it delivered. <laughs> and, um, uh. and they didn't bother. And then days later, they rang up and they said, oh, yeah, we couldn't quite understand the address. Or we got, they, they got the word street and road mixed up. I think Idiots! I got and they said, uh, do you want us to deliver it now? I said, do whatever you like. I mean, that, the whole point of my paying you all that money was which we delivered the next day. And they said, the fault lies with you, sender. And that was not the phrase to use. Ziggy, Tracy and Brian are in the bedroom. Oh, no. She took your deodorant thing over there and she's been smelling the empty container all day. Who's that, Shanessa? <laughs> Shanessa thinks I've got the hot spot. <laughs> Tracy's lying. No, Tracy's she's not. I'm not I lying. Tracy's lying. I'm not she ain't lying. lying. Serious. <laughs> Dude, that's full on. We all discussed it last night in the bedroom. Baby, you what did you say? Mm -hmm. I said... I hope you openly said no, he doesn't. Listen, listen. <laughs> I said... Oh, God, no. she's coming, she's coming. Tell me she's coming. Do you go for new girlfriend coming? It's no bad, no. Actually, Hello, people. Hello. 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 H
Yeah, we all did you see You're right, Helen. I just woke up and napped. I'm so tired. And we've been asleep all day, Trace. We've had a funny old day, yeah. I've had a snooze. We've been asleep all day long, and I just woke up. I'm just still in bed now, man. Have you been in bed all day? Just now, just now. Kind of just napping. Well, how's your day? What are you doing? This is not funny. Well, it isn't there's not, okay, I can honestly I, I say there's not element, one element of funniness in this I whole thing. I, I, I hope you stop this shit. I don't I fancy her. Nice. What? I said to her last night. I don't night. fancy her. I said to her last night, I said, I let her just, oh, this is the last thing I need. I said, look, mate, I told her, I said, look, you've got to think out of the box, Ziggy. He's just come out of something really weird in here. He's not going to go back to me. I said, we don't think I you're wouldn't, I don't fancy her. I said, I, was, I said, I don't think you're a really it's a cup of tea. I really don't think, oh, but, then I noticed this container, right? You know the deodorant you've got? I said, what's that? She went, oh, Ziggy's. She was just, so said, she goes, do you fancy Ziggy? I said, no, he's just my mate. I said, you know, he's not, he's not what does she say? And she just smiles, she goes, no, why not? He's a white man. I said, what, about, what, what do you think about Brian? She went, yeah, but I look at Brian as a little young boy, but I look at Zig as a man. <laughs> I'm being honest this with you. This place is just too weird. <laughs> <laughs>Big Brother has provided housemates with some booze. Amy, Liam, Amanda and Sam are at the smoking area. I haven't done any washing since I've been here. So I brought that much that I probably could get away with not washing. It'll be five weeks. Yeah, but I brought a lot of underwear and stuff. Scary amount, 30 litres of underwear. I don't think underwear should be measured in litres like makes it sound wet and disgusting. Wet's fine, but disgusting's not. <laughs> Carl Louise and Jerry are at the dining table. Tracy, you know, Tracy has an yeah. audience. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the scene oh, wow. but, you know, I said to her many times, she's a cult figure. Mm. Gosh, I can't believe I'm here. Are you happy? I am happy, but I'm shocked. Tracy is in the diary room. What an amazing night again. I'm still here with you. <laughs> Fat. Fat. I feel um, amazed that I've uh, made it through again. <laughs> totally. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, it's all good in the hood. Really good in the hood. Can you describe that fat feeling for Big Brother? <laughs> it's <just> a, um, <laughs> natural buzz, man. Yeah, proper buzzing. It's twice, you know, twice in a row. It's getting beyond a joke that I'm always up every week. It's, you know, I'm obviously not liked in the house, am I? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, random, and I love it. I love it. Of course I do. It's fat to be liked. Why do you think you stayed? Because I'm rock hard, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think they, um... I don't, <laughs> I don't think the public's ready to get me out there yet. It's a fat feeling, though, to be still here and voted for that. And to hear that roar is just... amazing. 1.11am. Some of the housemates are in the living area. You know, I went back to my old college after I left, and there were all these different, um, uh, it was like a pub quiz. And the bit I did the best on was a section on the Teletubbies. I got every question right. Yeah. And we should have played the Joker on that, because when you do that, you get double the marks. We didn't realise just how good, you know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're going to be. I should have done we, it on that one. We really don't like doing pub quizzes, because we always get them wrong. The house gives you another, you know, it gives you a week off. Okay. It even happened with Charlie, trust me. I don't trust me, actually, because my predictions are wrong. <laughs> I don't predict, I don't really think that I'm liked. I just think that no, it was you know, probably been, just a, what do you call it, as, as um, not much in it. So I thought it would be between you and you David. I never thought that Sunita would be taken seriously. Liam, Tracy, Ziggy and Brian are at the smoking area. Oh, 
back in the yeah, hood. You, you put your <laughs> I'm back in the hood. In the toilet, it's good to be right? back. Not the one We're originals. We are originals. You yeah. know, it's, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. out Mate, you we never went. <laughs> <laughs> we never went. We never really went. No. Never went. No one actually expects you to go. Well, the, 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 all the week, everyone's, I've said to you, and everyone said to you, yeah, Tracy, I'll see you on Saturday morning. <laughs> right. yeah, it's, 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 that's how confident we are of your oh. position. So, that's a nice position you got there. <laughs> Thanks. I don't give a shit. You know what, Trey? Give it five weeks ago, I wouldn't have given a shit. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'll be honest, as honest as it goes. There you go. I didn't there know you. you. Now, I give a shit about every single person <laughs> in here. If Liam <laughs> ignored me tomorrow morning, I'd be like, why is Liam ignoring me? Or if Brian, you know, stuck his penis in my face, I'd be like, why is this? <laughs> right, Carol's coming out. Didn't. Why I did. Or I did. out with nets. Listen. We can't get into trouble, you know, but we all know the score, like, at the end of the day, like, why well, I know the score in my mind. I do, in mind. We know the score, but, yeah, I know what you mean. There's so much time. But it's taken for some people to leave for me to actually get close to other people. Yeah, but... yeah isn't that right? It's like a chess game, man. Get rid of your pawns, fuck you off. Fuck you <laughs> 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 off. Fuck it? off. But it is, and then you come closer. Right. If I had to pick a group now, none what I know now, from the beginning, yeah. it would be the same, like. Mm. Same as me, man. How fat's that? I was probably excited. Don't you that to me was just like, like how some people would like, be speaking to like Steven Spielberg. I still think Pauline. You're welcome, oh, Pauline. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Bro, get on. Bundle. <laughs> Carolyn, <laughs> why do you always end up Let's on the bundle. fucking grass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Carol, I'll be back to you when you're in the bed of love. I'm going to be in the bed of love tonight. Carol. I'm going to, yeah. I'll be in the thank bed with God, you. Thank God, thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it was a bit of a moment, wasn't it? That <laughs> was a bit of a fruity one. <laughs> 1.31 a.m. Most of the housemates are in the living area. Why can't, why can't we suck up water and put it to space? Because once it's in space, it can't flip back down because of gravity. It can't, right? but we do need that. About water. 5,000 um, rockets to go up. It would, oh, and the thing is, all those rockets would be releasing greenhouse gases and it would melt the ice more quickly. I mean, one of the main things causing the problems with aeroplanes at the moment, because of all the fuel that they release, they're actually merrily melting. Every time you take an aeroplane, you're actually helping to melt the I think we should all find a new planet somewhere. I agree, actually, like totally. This. I mean, I agree. I think in the future yeah, we probably will. Tracy, Ziggy, Liam, Brian and Carol are in the garden. Uh, yeah. Do you think they've picked the right two to go tonight? One of them. Which one? I think Dave. The right person. Should have gone. Yeah. Yeah. Shanessa? Yeah, should have gone. Do you think it was a no, stretch by the end? end? I would like Shanessa to have stayed. Would you pick Shanessa over Carl Louise? Oh, no. Well, then you've picked the right two no, people. No, 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 no. No, 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 in terms of... Um... No, because you only had four to choose from. I know, I know. But well, in, you're... in terms of the two... <laughs> don't just, don't just throw your hair two... out, Carl. No, you can't term... do no, that. No, no, in terms of the two that actually went, I would have liked Shanessa to have spent a bit more time in. So, right. so who would have gone I think she had quite a difficult time, And who would you have gone? If I was the public... You're not going to upset us, Carl. Just say it, Amy. It's fine. <laughs> yes, Amy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, do you know what it is? Do, do you, you, like, like you like the charity case, don't you? Oh, do you know what? I'm not even going to explain myself. No, no one really Boy. wants to actually listen to our God's Oh, no! Carol, no, it's on. true. It's but, true. Carol, I love you. No, it's true. Uh, oh, wait, Carol, so please. You can't kind of just walk breath. off. Who even walks up? So you saying calling her a charity case is basically just calling her a do-gooder? No, I'm not calling her a do-gooder. And basically, and if you walk saying, after it, it means that you're And I'm not saying that wet. she is a charity case. All I'm saying is, <laughs> Carol likes to fight for the right to party, right? She likes to fight for the person with the least chance, the least, you know, yeah. thing, and the least that. And because she's a nice person, and she hands off, take it all. Because it is a bit, it does sound a bit like she's, he's calling her a do-gooder, I'm yeah, sorry. Don't can hear that. It did sound like it. Right. I've, it's been brought to my attention just then, right, that when I said that, they might have thought that I meant uh, that you were a do-gooder, right? No, it's Which, not, a, not what I meant, right? What I've just no, said... Uh, oh, uh, Carol. What I meant when I said was that you like to choose somebody who's given no, the least I was chance... Tell, no, I was trying to tell you why I would have chosen you I chose. What, well, now I interrupted and that's why you... Yeah, it's, it's constant sort of... You know, asking what you want, and they're not listening. Ah, oh, Carol, how am I? I'm not wanting to be unkind. No, it's not just you. You know. 
Oh, hold well. on, man. So, I didn't mean it like that. No, you know, I didn't. Well, I didn't want to see you upset, man. Do I? It's all right. You're all right. No, I'm not, man. Two forty-three a.m. All of the housemates are in the living area. Because <laughs> 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 they're not. Okay, lay back. Let me feel your penis. No, why did I say that? <laughs> why did I say that? Yeah, fill my penis then. She said. <laughs> Me hips back out. I got some shit to say now. Probably in the morning, eh? Are you been let in? I've been in the morning. Carol, come in. What for? Come on, come on. Carol, Carol. 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 What are they doing? Carol, you go in the bar room. What? Carol, Carol. What are they doing? No, they're taking the bar room. Don't throw the fruit. Oh, Jerry! <laughs> 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 oh, Jerry! 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 Oh, Jer
Ah, <laughs> Oh, nice! Why are you wearing that? It's funny. I'm not, I'm not, they've done it so we can, they can see our sausages. So? So we give them so what they want. That's your man nude. What's wrong with showing that? So, well, I'm not showing it on national TV very much. Oh, dear. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what the problem is. It's just that everyone wants my mum's sitting around. Bollocks! It's your, you're a bloke. What's the matter with you? I'm not one of those blokes who just wants to get things out all the time. You're not. You're wearing pants. It's hardly out. I think it's quite funny. Yeah, yeah. Start taking a piss out of it. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea. This is Big Brother. Will all housemates take up a position by an exercise mat facing away from the bedroom? Come on, girl. Jerry. Come on, she's in a wood moon this morning, isn't she? I told you every Saturday. Twelve forty seven PM. It's been fifty three minutes since housemates finished their sweat it out task. Big Brother has gathered housemates on the sofas. This is Big Brother. Earlier today, housemates were required to collectively generate fifty grams of sweat in thirty minutes. Yeah. That's what did. Big Brother has analyzed each of the housemates' sweatsuits and can reveal that the total sweat generated by all housemates was... 32. 60. 59. That man liked it. 253 grams. Therefore, housemates have passed today's task. We're a sweaty bunch of housemates, sweaty Betty or what? <laughs> As a reward for passing their sweat it out task, Big Brother is providing a pool party for housemates and giving them access to the bar. Big Brother has also provided alcoholic fruity cocktails. I think a Saturday morning oh. task. Oh, oh, oh. 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 no! One twenty eight PM. Housemates have been at Big Brother's pool party for forty minutes.
Ziggy and Carol are in the bedroom talking about Chanel, who decided to leave the Big Brother house six days ago. I can't get out of my head. What? Well, we... we I want to draw them, you know. You want to what? What, what, what? I don't know, I feel responsible for, for what happened last week and I just do. Oh. Well, I know you keep on saying don't, but... No, don't. Anyway. No, listen. A takes two to tango. I know, but I've we're all sitting there. I was saying that I thought she was becoming very unstable because every day. We're sitting there and the new something. pool's open and it's, you know what I mean? She didn't, she didn't get evicted, she didn't get nominated, man. She left on her own account. Yeah, but that, that was her choice yeah. and she was threatening it for several weeks, Zig. That wasn't the first time. It was over and over and over again. I remember. And often over minor things and she would sit in there screaming at everything and. Um, you know, I couldn't understand how she could. Um, there was there was big crisis, and then all of a sudden, she's sort of pouting. I know, I know, but that was the way she was. But I'm just um, just thinking with all no the understanding of, with uh, new things happening. You know, if if nominated, fine, then fine. You know, shit happens. But I just fucking I'm sure everyone's enjoying herself. She should really be here enjoying herself. You know. Carl Louise and Amy are in the bar. I'll tell you what else, I'm absolutely exhausted. Since Liam came over the other night, all we've done is like flirt and rip and piss at each other. And now I'm actually like, I've got no interest in talking to him. We can't talk normally. Because all we do is rip and piss at each other constantly. And now I'm just like that. Yeah. Haven't you been having like late night heart to heart? So, no. Well, yeah. no. Late night. I guess it's. <laughs> really? I think okay. everyone else thinks that, but they haven't oh, had it confirmed. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's ripping it out of us and like, keeps going, Sir Liam's in the room and stuff. Uh, but we're not, we've both said, oh, it's a bit of fun more in here, we don't want anything outside of it. Do you really like it? Yeah. Only as much as it's fun more in here. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the thing is, I've, I, I said to him, I said, I think I'm going to end up looking like a twat for this in the outside yeah. world. Why? Because he disses me more than I diss him. Mm. He, he plays that whole treat me and keep him keen thing. And he can be but you don't want to look like you're fine. Like no, exactly, a, like exactly. A and I've said that to him before. And um it happened before, hasn't it? Things have happened. Oh, yeah. But he was not into her at all. And yeah. I said that everyone said no, it was totally one sided and he did tell her that. And um but I just think like if he was messing around with that Pauline. I think they only kissed when they were doing that play thing or something. Mm. And then... I know, I was thinking how that might make you feel when they were When they were going out. It, it just made me feel stupid. I was like, not really in here, but that... I don't know what it's coming across like out there. I was like, it blatantly looks like I'm just third in line. I know, that's the thing. You don't want to feel like you're um, doing. And part of it is also sexual frustration. Because I'm like, you can't be all ready. Half a day, and I'm like... I thought I was like that, but... I'm I've only three, three or four times a day, girl. Well, I wish I were. If I can. If I can get it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Four fifteen p.m. Most of the housemates are in the garden. This ball, seriously, we need this one. Can you play with the other one, so guys? Guys, did, did you guys, yeah. this is the map one. Use the other one, please, because we want no, we want to speak about geography and stuff. Really okay, get this one. It's not the same, Jerry. It's too big. I don't care. Well, it's not your rules. Well, if you destroy it, well, what we're not going to destroy do? it. We're playing with it. That's what these balloons are for. Yeah, play with this one. That's yeah. the crap one. It's crap, Jerry. I don't care. Listen, well, it's you're not about your, It's not about your rules, Jerry. Yeah, but it's... Uh, who, not, whose rules is over. it? We're playing with but it. But this is nice. It's a map. Go on, Liam. Uh, if it goes up there, I'm going to piss on your underwear. Amanda and Amy are in the bathroom. We don't have to take our clothes off Woo! to have a good time. Good time, but it helps. I love it. The best, I think it's what it's probably the best day so far. What overall? Yeah. Really? Daffo. It's all okay. good. <laughs> oh. Well done. Oh, you guys got that in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, Laura. I like a rash here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought there's some fungal in the box going on. <laughs> oh, eh, 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 eh. Please, Ron. Hang on, hang on. Oh, well done. Laters. I was going to show them the world. Laters, haters. Show them the world. I can't even show I'm bloody Leightonstone. 
Yeah. The peanut butter is here. Jerry Ziggy has kicked the ball over the top. You see, I told you, and we're gonna teach the twins geography, and you fucked it up. All you had to do is use the other bloody ball, but do you ever listen Jerry, to Jerry, anyone Jerry, else? Jerry. No, you do your own thing, and you say, whose rule is that? Hey, Jerry, and Jerry, 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 you have no way to have a go at me. It's a fucking ball. You can't have a go at me. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna it let you have a go at me. It's yours, a ball. I'm anyone. playing, I'm you doing something. The other There's one. not much to do in here. I'm playing with a ball. Yeah. You're not have a go there at me, please. Three you are in no position to have a go at me about kicking a ball over. I'm sorry. You go with whatever you want. But I not. told you in advance. Well, uh, yes, the shit happens. I apologise, you know. It was gonna happen. I told you it was gonna happen. We'll get the ball back. The ball ball ball. Seriously. <laughs> Stop laughing, my golf. I don't think it's funny. Oh. It was the only mob we had in the house. Oh, my Jerry. It's only really It's a ball, man. man. Could Seriously. you not play with no, the other? No, no, I'm not You're gonna make sense of That I've done something wrong when there's so well, many people big enough to do no, I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't. I've kicked Ziggy, a ball over. You're so Eight selfish. So selfish. selfish. I've Jerry, I begged you to use the other Jerry, ball. I'm selfish. And you just selfish, do your own selfish. thing. And you have the guts to tell me who's it's not your ball. Who's it's not your ball, that? though. We're playing Fuck with the ball. You know, you're give so us a ball, we're playing with arrogant it. when you do this. Arrogant. Seriously. I'm not arrogant at all, Jerry. I had a Jerry. better idea about you. Jerry, listen, you have whatever I'm sorry, idea you I don't want, want me. To, to talk about it. No, you know I'm what, Jerry, if you want to have your fit fine about a ball, I'm not having a fit. I'm not even going to have this conversation with you. Seriously, I apologize. Apologize. Thank you. I'm sorry. And they're arguing. Yeah. The shadows are painted on. Jerry's, because they, they keep the ball over and Jerry's at my own time. Oh, fuck him. It's a ball. Do you know what I mean? It's all it is, a ball. Guys, what's going on? Nothing. Idiot, you know. Idiots. 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 Please, Jerry, man. Geography. He just got himself upset out of the bar. I'm not. I I'm ball, upset man. because he wasn't You're listening. I, I said, "Whose rules is that? Do my ball." Yeah. No, no, I didn't do it like that. It's, 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 not, your like it's not, not your ball. It's not your ball. I'm It's not your ball. And I can do whatever I want. With it's the not. Did I ever say that? Did I ever say that? It's not your ball. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna. Three, three, do you know what? It's a ball. I don't care, Ziggy. It's not about the ball. It's about the man. Please, please, please. I begged you to use the other ball. I'm not gonna be told off in here about kicking a ball over. I'm sorry. Don't take any notice. I'm not taking any notice of him. <laughs> what I are you going in there for? He calls me selfish. I constantly sit there and listen to him go on and on and on, on about himself and about his how about his ways and about his why why he finds it hard in here. And he's calling me selfish, man. <laughs> Carol, man, please. <laughs> oh, this place. And you know this this exhibition of bravado, Julian as well. Don't laugh. <laughs> Hell, man. He's Jerry. like, oh, we are straight and we're gonna do whatever we want the fucking ball. We're gonna play football. <laughs> How does straight come in the ring? Oh, he's like this macho chauvinism. I would say two things, right? The first thing is, shh. <laughs> the second thing is, <laughs> hello, Ziggy. Hi. Um, I've kicked a ball over on the right-hand side. Is there any way we could get it back, please? Otherwise, it's going to go on and on and on and on and on about the ball. Just, just please give me the ball back. It's, it's, uh, he's, um, we, we've got a very, very upset Greek man outside. He's come out and told me that he thought better of me. I've, I've, sh I've disappointed him. Um, and I wouldn't like to disappoint Jerry. Just to clarify, Ziggy, are you asking for your ball back? Yeah, yes, I'm asking for that ball back, please. Please, just give me the ball back. Ziggy, Big Brother has noted your request. Yeah, I'm not a softie, you know. I know you're, you're not a softie, but you're being And I know I look this. like a fool now. No, because this is what I say to you. Don't say things because yeah, later you're on you're going to feel like you've bloody no, said some attack. No, I still feel like that, though. You it think, doesn't right, change the I fact. say to you, don't say things that are going to hurt me feelings. You think I'm threatening you. Yeah? I'm only saying it because I know that later you're going to regret it. And then we're going to have this whole drama about you thinking, oh, I look soft. Anyone up for football? The joke. Eleven twenty PM. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Chris has got a proper tidy pump. Oh, but you leave my house alone! Well, it's beyond a joke, man. It's <laughs> There, is, there isn't a goddamn crease in it. <laughs> it's 37 years old. See, so had Botox. Never been touched. She's so had Botox. Botox in a Botox. Really? What? You haven't? No, no. She, why well, she wouldn't do that? What have I done? No, You've it's alright. I just felt. Your Botox. Oh yeah, I'm always going down there at the clinic. Give me some Botox. See, those homemade ones. See, see. No, 
I've Tight got it as a, a fish's arse. Oh, I have not! <laughs> <laughs> Get off my ass! I want one out of Partying hard, man. Get his muscles in your bottom. I'll have some. I would like I would like to mummify myself. I would like <laughs> I love to the way he just sits, I guess I'd like to mummy my I want to be like that. <laughs> Ziggy and Carol are on the sofas talking about Amy. Oh well, she's she told Shanessa. Hmm. She'd shag him now. Yeah, of course, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. And um Hello, so, but the thing was, he's kind of, he's got to do all these things and then he's abandoned her on the bed. Mm. And he's out there and he's going, well, you know, I, I think I'm, my space has been invaded. That's what he said. <laughs> I was just being to him about that before. I said to you, you know, Newman, um, God, I'm done with women full stop. You know, I want to stay away, well away from all women in this house now. There's a woman in one corner, I'm going to go in the other corner now in this house. Well, you've got your time now. Yeah. Because you came in and it almost it happened almost immediately. Mm, didn't it? it was immediately. And it was off and on and off yeah. and on and off and on. It wasn't that much. It was. <laughs> it wasn't that much. Brian is in the diary room. Hello, brother. Hello, Brian. You all right? How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I was just having a few drinks. Cheers for the booze. Cheers for the great big Cub Tropicana bar. Proper puck of time. Enjoyed it. It's been good. Well, so thank you for that. And how are you finding it living it with three new fully fledged housemates? They're all right, actually. They're not too bad. Johnny's a giggle. And to be honest with you, when Johnny first came here, he freaked me out. I've never met anyone so. I think the word's eccentric. Um, I thought to myself, he was quite. I didn't know if there was actually something wrong with him, with his teddies and everything. And he's quite. He's, he's a harmless, plastic geezer. And he's, he's a nice bloke and he doesn't mean anyone any harm. He's all right. Um, Carla Louise. She's a really lovely girl, to be honest with you. She's, she's very well spoken, she's very well brought up, and she's very educated, and but that's not something to ever look down on. She's quite elegant in the way she holds herself, and that's, that's quite a rarity in this day and age. And, yeah, she's a really lovely girl, so I like Carla Louise. And Amy, I think uh, Liam hooking up and stuff, and got them. Um, in the beginning of the week, I thought, oh, why couldn't I get with anyone? I don't think it's really more the fact that I fancied Amy, it's just more to do with the fact that I just wouldn't get with anyone the house. Once I've got over the fact that literally Big Brother ass ain't a dating agency, I sort of got over it really. In all honesty though, when you're with one person a lot, it sort of alienates everyone else a little bit. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out for them, but like I said, good on to them. And I don't know, she's, she's a nice, cool girl and stuff, and I like the three new ass mates. I think, yeah, they're all right. 12.20 a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Amy and Carl Louise are talking about Liam. He said, I think you're, he said, I think you're just used to it being far more cut and dried. I think you're used to meeting someone, both getting on, and then just seeing how it goes, and it will either become something or it won't. And I said, well, I said, it's even more cut and dried than that with us, because we know it's not going anywhere, so we're not even going to worry about that. We've said it's not going anywhere. It's just, at the most, four weeks of fun. Nothing else, so it's not that I have to stress. Is he going to marry me? <laughs> because it's not even a, a thing. Sam and Amanda are in the diary room. Right, we're at Limston and Granddad, I'm not even joking. It's so has. <laughs> Granddad alerts! <laughs> He's no longer. Something's happened to him. What's happened to Liam? He's turned into Granddad. He won't have fun anymore. Well, he will, but he's not coming to the pool tonight. What shall we do? <laughs> not in no horrible way. Liam, Tracy, and Brian are at the smoking area. You even bother, that's what I say. Mm. It's not our, it's not our, it's not our, it's not it's our, our place to get involved in your domestics. Yeah. There's no domestics. There's domestic well, there, there is. is. I don't know what you mean by domestics, like, because I haven't argued with anybody or out like yeah. that. Count hers. <laughs> When I, when I argued with Carol last night. All stems to the same thing, dude. Yeah. Jerry. Fuck, what the fuck? Jerry, did you have that Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Think, hey, this is not being me being flash or anything. Mm. No. Hey, fella. Think, hey, think two weeks ago, you, you, you weren't involved in things like this. No, no, no. You weren't no, involved, involved in, in arguments, disruption. You're getting one nearly every, round, every day now. You're getting involved. You weren't, you weren't, two weeks ago, right? You, you weren't involved in any. It was me who gets involved yeah. in these sort well, of... When you were child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's me who gets involved in rounds and stuff. Yeah. You don't get involved in shit like this. And now yesterday, today... Right, because this last season... I just, you know, Brian, you, yeah. you'll be helping us out if you say the score. Yeah, well, it's obvious. At the end of the day, what I want 
is to get along and be flipping cool in the house. I don't want to make no changes over women. That's not what I'm right. about. I can even see all this. <clears throat> like, the last couple of days we've been having flipping, uh, ripping each other and having loads of banter. And I can even see that as, you know, being seen as me showing off because there's a lassie here now and stuff Reflecting like that. Reflecting back, looking I don't, back. I'll be totally honest. That's what I thought. Aye. Really, I really? They've come back from the halfway house, not the same person. Aye. Is that what you thought? Totally honest. Yeah, I know, that's fair enough. If, I, if something was a real problem to me, I'd come up to you and go, well, you've been a cockhead, stop uh, it. It's not a problem to me. Uh, That's not a problem to uh, me. But I don't but want to change. I've done well here so far as exactly. being the person that I am. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I've got exactly. 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 So no, I don't want but to change you. But in this house, when you're people 24 hours, 24-7, you notice the difference between people. Yeah. Yep. You'd have to I be agree. an absolute dick not to notice yeah, the difference between people. Yeah, I agree, You do. Do you want to yeah, come say? I agree. All right. 1.05 a.m. That's right. Some of the housemates are in the garden. Hello. Is that cow from the hood? Cow from the hood? Yeah, me back's aching. <laughs> oh, now you're neither. You're always wishing that one swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's always looking around with the one swimming costume. How serious is that? I think she's just pretending she's doing, she's always folded up the swimming costume. In the bedroom, she's folded up and touching it. But like, seriously, she's just pretending she does stuff. She's not doing jack shit. <laughs> she's just hanging around with the one swimming costume. <laughs> looking hard. <laughs> Carol's the mole. <laughs> mole! We found the mole. It's She's from Swindon and all. It's a swimming costume lady. <laughs> <laughs> Liam and Amy are in the living area. What's up? You look a bit depressed. I'm just in a funny mood, that's all. You never get a chance to get away with you, near, do you? Mm. Sometimes I just think, fuck, where's I could just do it going and blowing up, really. I'm just leaving you. What? I'm just leaving you. No, no, you're I'm cool. I'm just thinking about here and the situations and fucking this and that. Think about you a little bit. I'm thinking, I can't help feeling that anything between me and you is flipping bad vibe between everybody else in the house, like. And it's just fucking. You know, not what I want, I. Okay. I'm sure you're being a good pal, you know, but uh, in here, man, just everything's observed and it just gets on my nerves, pisses us off, like. Take it, people have been rinsing out of you again. No, nobody said no, but. But I'm just. Sometimes I get the feeling that. You know. People that act differently or are acting differently around us. I think you're working yourself up too much about it. It's for whatever the situation is, it's fine. You don't need to explain it. Well, no, I, I kind of do, because there's thoughts in my mind that I'm being hurtful towards you, and that I'm, uh, you know, what, like I say, wanting all the shiny marbles, wanting as much as I want, and nothing more. Do you know what I mean? Like. But I keep saying to you, you know, I didn't never want to hurt your feelings because I genuinely, I didn't like. You haven't. We're in a fucking strange place. It's fine. As long as me and you are cool, like, because that means so much to us and all, you know? Yeah, it's fine. And now when lasses say fine, it's sometimes not fine. Yeah, but it really is. Right. Cool. We've only known each other, what, four days? I, I'm just fucking... I'm really shit at flipping knowing the score, right, so... It's fine. Four days. What a whirlwind romance. Hardly.
So, what did Liam say to Big Brother about Amy? Diary Room Uncut, starting on E4 in a couple of minutes. Here on Channel 4 Next, Victorian London's most infamous killer is on the loose. It's a crime from hell with Johnny Depp and Robbie Coltrane. <laughs> 